Hi, my name is Richard Lee. I'm a BN engineer here in Cisco Japan. Today, I would like to show you a very simple demonstration about Cisco BYOD solution using an iPad, a Cisco ISE Identity Service Engine, a Cisco Wireless Controller, and Cisco Access Point. So let's get started. Now we are looking at a Apple iPad, and uh, I'm going to connect the iPad to the SSID. Uh, my SSID is called BN Demo Co-op. So as we can see, it's uh, now connected to the BYOD demonstration SSID, and it's getting the IP address of 174.3. Now my client device is connected to the SSID BN Demo Co-op. So let's uh, find the devices uh, in the wireless LAN controller. Monitor, uh, let's click the clients. It will give us a list of the clients that is uh, associated to the SSID. Now, as we can see, uh, we have three client devices connected to the wireless LAN. And we find this uh, 174.3 device with a MAC address of 0696. Now let's go to the ISE and see the authentication of the device. Now as I can see, uh, during the authentication, the device is actually being profiled as the Apple iPad and it was, uh, auth it was given a authorization profile as BNBYOD. Now let's go deep into the authentication sequence. And uh, as we can see, the authorization profile is uh, BNBYOD. And uh, since I'm using the TKY user one, which is uh, supposed to be a COP user, uh, I was assigned a policy called COP user BYOD, which means I'm a COP user, but I'm using my own devices. Now let's go to the ISC and see the device uh, in the administrate and uh, identity uh, endpoints. Now I can see the 0696 device was actually profiled as Apple iPad. And uh, yeah, Apple iPad. And it was uh, assigned the policy of uh, copy user BYOD. And going down, uh, the authorization profile is uh, BNBYOD. Now in the controller, we actually can see that uh, an access control list called core BYOD was applied to the device according to the information provided by ICE. Now let's go back to the iPad uh, and let's see where I can go and where I cannot go. Now let's open the page of the BYOD demo. Now, since I'm a COP user and uh, bring my own device, I can do I can access the COP user BYOD page. But since I'm not using a COP device, I'm not allowed to access the COP user COP device page. And of course, since I'm not a guest user, I'm not allowed to access the guest page as well. Now, since I'm a COP user and using the BYOD. Uh, the only page I was allowed to access is a crop user BYOD page, which is uh, as I expected. One or two years ago, when we think about security, we only think about managing the user ID and the user password. But now, since more and more people are bringing their own devices, for example, they bring their iPhone to the company, they bring their iPad to the company, also, they bring all kinds of Android devices to the company. It is becoming more and more important for the IT manager to be able to manage the security policy according not only to the user ID, but also according to the device type they're using. So in this very simple demonstration, we show that using the Cisco ICE and Cisco Wireless LAN controller, we were able to authenticate the user 
we were able to profile the device and we were able to assign a security policy, proper security policy, according to the user ID and the device type. So this is a very simple demonstration of Cisco BYOD solution and uh, thank you very much for watching this video.